I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand different terms which we use for types of angles. Now angles could be classified according to their sizes, right? And when we say sizes, we normally measure angles in degrees. So we'll see what is the measurement of any angle in degree. Based on that, we'll classify them. So you must have heard names like acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle, straight angle and reflex angle. So we'll talk about these angles. Acute angle are the angles which are less than 90 degrees. That means uh, from zero to 90 degrees. So less than 90 degrees. If the angle is less than 90 degrees, it's an acute angle. Let me sketch one for you. So if that is your initial arm, then the acute angle will be, this is the 90 degrees, let us say. So any angle which is less than 90 degrees will be termed an acute angle, right? So this angle is an acute angle. Now, what is right angle? As the name suggests, it is equal to 90 degrees. So that could be sketched like, kind of like this. We could have a straight line and a perpendicular. So if you have a perpendicular, it can form 90 degrees. Right? So that angle is 90 degrees angle and it is normally shown like I have shown here. Obtuse angle is the one which is greater than 90 degrees, right? So greater than 90 degrees, but it is also less than 180 degrees, right? So at times we can say that obtuse angle, let's say the angle, uh, let's say we have an angle ABC, that angle, is less than 180 degrees but is greater than 90 degrees so that will be an obtuse angle uh, let me sketch one to show you how will it look like so any angle which is this is 90 degrees correct so obtuse will be greater than 90 degrees. is that okay so that will be an angle which is obtuse angle greater than 90 degrees but it is less than 180, right? That is 180 degrees in between. Straight angle. Straight angles, as the name suggests, are formed by straight lines. Straight angle is always equal to 180 degrees. So this angle is a straight angle and the measurement is equal to 180 degrees, correct? Normally, when we are measuring angles, we measure it counterclockwise. So you'll see that arrow which I make is kind of in this direction. Sometimes we talk about negative and positive angles for the time being, consider them positive. But sometimes we may say angle measured counterclockwise is positive, but clockwise is negative. Okay, let's move on. Reflex angle, what is that? Can you tell me? Reflex angle is an angle which is kind of like this where the angle is greater than 180 degrees right? so if the angle is greater than 180 degrees it is called reflex angle so here straight angle is is 180 degrees we say equal to 180 degrees on the other hand reflex angle is greater than 180 degrees as shown here so i hope that's a that's absolutely clear. We have different angles based on their measurements. If the measurement is less than 90 degrees, it is called acute angle. If it is equal to 90 degrees, right angle. Obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. So it is between 90 and 180 degrees. Straight angle, as the name suggests, is equal to 180 degrees. Reflex angle is greater than 180 but less than 360. So total angle of a circle is 360 degrees, right? So that's important to understand also. So full circle, let me write down here, full circle is 360 degrees, right? Now we'll also talk about pairs of angles which have some special meanings. Complementary angles and supplementary angles. What are these? So if we have angles, whose combination is 90 degrees, kind of like this. So angles which combine to make 90 degrees are called complementary angles. So if I have 
angle 1 and angle 2. Then sum of these two angles is 90. So, so angle 1 plus angle 2, if that is equal to 90 degrees, we say it's complementary angles. Supplementary angles, on the other hand, the sum of angle 1 plus angle 2, if that is equal to 180 degrees, which is a straight line, right? So it sometimes also called as a linear pair, right? Linear pair, if there are two angles, okay? Which we could draw like this, a straight line and then some angle, right? So, so let's say this, right? So in that case, what we see here is this angle is, let's say, angle 1 and the other angle is angle 2. So some of these two angles is 180 degrees. That forms a linear pair. Well, important thing to note here is that if I have two angles with an, which do not have a common arm, for example, if I have an angle here and uh, if I have another angle which is kind of, uh, let's say like this, but there's some, let's say this angle is 60 degrees and this angle is 120 degrees, then what is their sum? 60 degrees plus 120 degrees is equals to 180 degrees. Even if they are not joined together, but they form a sum of 180 degrees, we'll call them as supplementary angles, right? So 60 degrees is a supplement to 120 degrees. Same is true for complementary angles. And also you should remember that there could be more than two angles, right? So I could have another example here saying I have two or more angles where they form 90 degrees. So in between, we could have more than one combination. For example, like this and let's say, let's say like this. Now in this particular case, sum of three angles, let's say one angle, two angle and the third angle these three angles when combined together is 90 degrees then also it's a complementary pair so whenever you combine angles you may get 90 degrees if it is so then that will form a complementary angle and if the combination results into 180 degrees a straight line it becomes supplementary angles correct so I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that gives you a good idea about type of angles which we are going to deal with in these set of videos. You can again go through this video, understand the terms and then do some questions based on them. Thank you and all the best.